Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rahman Music Sheets. You don't choose your friends because they belong to a certain religion. And, and that's where Rangde Basanti becomes so relevant today. बहुत दिनों से है मशकला सियासत का कि जब जवान हो बच्चे तो कत्ल हो जाए। Advertising films maker Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra and script writer Kamlesh Pandey worked on a feature film script Young Guns of India. It focused on the heroes of Indian armed resistance against the might of the British Empire. Ten years later, it became Rangde Basanti. The script. Now married the past with the present realities of the 21st century India. Rakesh ji, the film kept intercutting between the past and the present. The past that had its values and commitments and the present that carries hope for tomorrow. Do you think the music of Rangde Basanti did justice to this thought? The movie was non-linear in, in a story grammar and a storytelling and I was improvising a lot while I was shooting and Bharti was impro improvising a lot when she was editing. A lot of magic also happened on the table. The music not only underlined it, it kind of took it to a sublime level. So there is a sequence in the film where they drop their friend in Old Delhi in the area of Jama Masjid. A friend is Aslam played by Kunal. His father is Ompuri and he gives him a dressing down. Then the elder brother takes on on him to say ki, you know, he has all these friends who are like from the different religion and Aslam being a modern day youth, for him it's about friendship, it's not about religion. You don't choose your friends because they belong to a certain religion. And and. That's where Rangde Basanti becomes so relevant today. So I'm coming back to a piece of music which underlined the moment. So now there's a, a, a lot of turmoil inside Aslam. As the worlds he's living in. A, he's living in a very uh, uh, old kind of thinking which, you know, South Asia is subjected to. Irrespective of whether you're a Muslim or a Hindu. Even uh, within Hindus, whether you are a Brahmin or a scheduled caste, you know, you are a tribal or a upper caste or a lower caste, all that happens. And it happens rampantly. Um, so this turmoil uh, became a very loud percussive beat. And he leaves the scene and he walks fast and he climbs up the staircase. It keeps rising, 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 rising. The volcano is about to explode. He opens a door and we enter 1924 in the past. And suddenly the music abruptly turns into a santur from that percussive. So that fusion. And they're planning the Kakori train robbery. So now you see what has happened. An extremely painful moment for a Muslim boy who is facing not only discrimination in the society, but within his family of his choices of his friends. Rather being treated in a sarangi or a sitar or a santur which is, can give a human pain to it, AR gave it percussion. And when you open the door and you enter the past, they are planning a great train robbery where they are going to, you know, loot right under the noses of the British Empire. These five kids, this should have been dramatic. <laughs> No, this is Santur, this is soft. And it's his, uh, how it, his mind works, how, uh, nobody knows. We should not get there. That is something should be left alone. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> as such. And, uh, 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 I, I don't have such an intellect to analyze how does AR work. But the sound he creates enters my soul, I know for sure. 
doing things that are unexpected and going against the tide. This is what rebellious attitude is all about. The song, I am a rebel, Maste ki Paatshala, too reflects that. Tell us how did you decide on the treatment and tone of this song? And how did Blase, a rapper, became a part of it? In the script, I had written something, I am a rebel. Yeah, I said, hey, I like that, I am a rebel. It's got a nice ring to it. And he just created a song, I am a rebel. AR introduced me to Blase and, uh, you know, we were, we didn't have rap numbers in a film, in movies those days, as such. Um, so, he just left us in a room and uh, you know how a master chef would put uh, two ingredients into, into a kadai, put it on low fire and put the lid on it and walk away, come back after two hours for it to make itself. So, I, I, I took Blase through the entire script, not the song. I, I spoke to, and then he wrote, uh, the uh, the rap version of it first once he got that right when the tune form uh, prasun wrote and uh, sprinkled gold dust all over the rest of the song how he related it to the generation yeah it took 7 years of research and 3 years to write the script of rangde basanti but even before the script was written, Rahman composed a track for its climax. Its singer, Naresh Ayer, received the national award as Best Playback Singer. Rakeshi, I believe Rahman had seen your first film, Ax, and really liked it also. And then you had shown him some storyboards, which finally became Rangde Basanti. Is it correct? It was a dream to make this film. And... Um there were yeah, some rough squiggles, I won't call it storyboard, which I had done and which I just shared with him, you know, this is how I am feeling and he made some sense out of it. The energy that I got back from him and the conviction he passed on to me that uh, you must make this film. Uh, it, it, it was at that time, uh, no film is easy to make, even, you know, when you're, uh, you're trying to say something which is not been said before and trying to say it in a completely different grammar. But AR is a master of that. And um, one day he, he, he came with a track and not a song, which became the soul of my film. And uh, he gave it to me and I stored it in my laptop. I still remember I used to carry a 17-inch Apple that time. Now, uh, many years later, we are finishing Rangde Basanti and it's the climax of the film. And uh, suddenly we remember, hey, you know the first tune that came out of you, the revelation? How did that go? Uh, and we started hunting for the tune uh, on the hard disk, on the system, his old systems, his laptops, everything. And we were trying to remember and he, he was saying, say, this is how it went. But I'm still not, uh, I'm forgetting the main refrain. And fortunately, uh, when I went into the hard disk of my laptop, somewhere we could find it hiding. And that became the tune for the climax of Rangde Basanti. So, it's amazing. Something which happened not even during a narration, just a conversation of a film and, and, and the idea of the film. And what came, his first reaction, his first response to the idea of the story became the main tune in the climax of the film and which led to the song Rubaru. In 
Rang De Basanti, as you know, there are two parallel tracks going. One by the youngsters of 1920s India and one is a parallel track of the youngsters in today's India. More uh, famously known as the MTV generation. Wherever they crisscross, there's a spark. And then again they travel like this, crisscross again they travel, spark again travel, spark again travel. And there comes a moment in time where the lines overlap. The spirit of the revolutionaries of the 1920s have entered or merged with the spirit of the generation of today. And now both the lines are blurred and it's become one. And that is my brief to AR for Rubaru. AR being AR, he comes up with Rubaru. He sang the refrain himself. The guitar track, it's a very campfire kind of song. You know, it's, it's more like you've gone for a college picnic and you're not there giving a lives. So that, that's the magic. Every time he's done something and he's created music, it has never been done before. There's a distinct signature, like a master painter has on his painting. He has on his music. You, you hear one symbol and you know it belongs to an AR song. I'm not even saying you hear a whole refrain. You just hear that the way the symbol has been played and you say, hey, that's an AR uh, sound as such. Rakishji Rangde Basanti gave India a new tool for activism. That's Candle March. Can there be a better validation for an artist's work? Yeah, it's rare. The media termed it as the RDB effect to uh, wake up a generation that was sleeping. In fact, my byline was a generation awakens much before. I knew and it was all experiential. We only spoke about things. We, we all sat on the fences. We never did anything. Kamlesh Pandey was writing it. The motto for us was this poetry uh, from Sahir Ludhyanvi that Bhot dino se hai mashkala siyasat ka Bhot dino se hai mashkala siyasat ka ki jab jawaan ho bacche to katal ho jayen. We saw that happening during the Indian uh, Revolution, French Revolution, uh, most uh, recently Tiananmen Square, Mandal Commission. I still remember I, one night I went to All India Medical Institute and we stayed up all night. I didn't know it's going to turn so ugly. We had no clue that Rajiv Goswami is going to emulate himself. We had no clue that scores and scores of youngsters are going to burn themselves. I always used to share this poetry of Sahil Janvi. Khoon fir khoon hai, tapkega to jam jayega. Tumne jis khoon ko maktal mein dabana chaha, aaj wo kuchay bazaar mein aa nikla hai. Zulm ki baat hi kya, zulm ki aukaat hi kya. Zulm to fir zulm hai, agas se anjaam talak. Khoon fir khoon hai, so shakl badal sakta hai. Aisi shaklein, aise naare jo dabaye to dabaye na dabaye. So it was the work of great masters who had suffered oppression. We were not just emulating them. We were <coughs> borrowing from them. And it was like if A.R. Rahman was to give music for Sahil Ladhyanvi, what would happen? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> or if A.R. Rahman is now composing for Ramindranath Tagore, and I'm taking a huge name here. Or if he was taking the poetry of Kazi Nazrul Islam and turning it into a song, what's going to happen?
राकेश ओम प्रकाश मेहरा ए आर रहमान एंड प्रसून जोशी केम टूगेदर वंस अगेन फॉर डेली सिक्स द ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइन इन नियर फ्यूचर वी विल ब्रिंग यू दी अनटोल्ड स्टोरीज ऑफ इट्स म्यूजिक मीन वाइल इन आर नेक्स्ट एपिसोड सिंगर हरिहरन जॉइन्स अस एन एसोसिएशन दैट बिगैन विद रोजा कंटिन्यूज थ्री डेकेड्स लेटर स्टे विद अस subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained